Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by TheStreamingAdvisor.com and this is one of our short series of videos on Stardew Valley. What we're going to show you how to do in this video is set up Smappy. The first thing you need to do in order to set up Smappy is download WinRAR, which is a free program. You find it by looking for WinRAR on Google and download it. Of course, you can find it on other websites, but you know, Google is the one we usually work with. You click on Agree in the corner, and you want to go to this blue download section because you can get this program for free versus buying it, which is what you, you know, it suggests above. It gives you step-by-step -step instructions as to how this works. It downloads pretty quickly into your downloads folder, and you're just going to click on it, and double click right here you know or in your downloads however you access that and it opens up a wizard to help you get this set see so it gives you basic information shows you where it's being installed do not mess with that just let it do what it's going to do unless you're so advanced that you're going to have your own program somewhere and you click install follow the instructions and they will look just like they show you on the steps one through five setup you're going to need that because you use that to open Smappy when it's time to put it onto your computer. So, what Smappy does is it allows you to install mods on for Stardew Valley. It stands for like Stardew Valley Modding API, I believe is what it stands for. And if you don't know what all those things mean, it's not really important. Just make sure you download Smappy. So let's show you how you do that. Once you have... WinRAR fully installed. You're going to go to the browser of your choice. We'll go into Google Chrome. And we're going to go to one of the places where you can download it. There's two places to get it. There's Nexus Mods, which is where a lot of the mods for Stardew Valley just live natively. And another website called Smappy.io. I'll show you the differences. First, we'll show you Nexus Mods. Now, Nexus Mods is a website where you have to have a membership, but you don't have to pay for it. It has a paid version. I'm not going to get into all the details of that, but there is a paid version. We have the free one. Most people use the free one. Just go to the page, sign up for an account, and do not accept any charges. But this isn't a video about Nexus. This is a video about Smappy. If you're looking for a video on Nexus, we'll do one. Another place to download Smappy is directly from Smappy at smapi.io. And there's a great big obvious download Smappy button right there. So if you want to make it really simple as far as downloading Smappy, you can do it from the Smappy website. Either way, if you're doing Stardew modding, you're going to need to use Nexus, not Nexus mods, most likely, because it's a great place to find them. So, once you're on Nexus mods, you can just look for Smappy, or it might ask you to choose your game in what you would choose Stardew Valley. You're going to click Manual Download. And you want to make sure that you've got the latest version. Right here it says we, it gives us Smappy 4.0.6. But I want to go back and make sure that that is in fact the latest version and that it hasn't updated. I'm going to click Back to Files. And we're going to scroll down. And you see the latest version is Smappy 4.0.6. It shows you the date it was uploaded. So again, we'll go ahead and go back to manual downloads. And given the choice between fast and slow downloads, if you've done it for free, you just click the slow downloads because fast downloads is not even an option for you. You'll just be prompted to pay for it. Your download speed should be pretty fast depending on what kind of a service you've got. We've got a good fast service, but you know, this have seen very few situations where any of this stuff makes a big difference. So now you see those little stacks of books. That's WinRAR at work. It finds your file and 
asks you if you would like to buy it and you just say close in some cases you'll click on a, a, an X up in the corner depending on what's showing up but don't worry about buying it close it we're going to minimize everything and here's the very very important step you click on this with the left button on your mouse and just drag it to the desktop. You see a little red sign, don't worry about that. Just drag it over, let it go, and you'll see the folder appear wherever you release it. We're gonna put it down here in this green bush. Hope you like the garden paws there. That's my wife's, she insisted that be the desktop and you know, happy wife, happy life, right? So we open up. And you're going to choose the install for whatever program you're running this on, whatever platform. And we're running it on Windows, but you see it has a Mac and Linux install as well. You double click. And from here, it's all in very plain English. Where do you want to, you know, to add it or remove it? So we're going to keep it simple. We're going to press 1 because that's going to set it up in the default area for Stardew Valley. I'll show you how that works. You see where it says program files with Steam, Steam apps, and so on. That is in Steam. I'm going to open Steam. I'm going to right click on Stardew Valley and go to manage and browse local files. This is where everything goes. So you see, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Stardew Valley. That is your folder for Stardew Valley. So that's where it's going to put it. So we're going to press 1 and Enter. And now you have your choice to install or uninstall. What we're doing today, of course, is installing it. A cool thing is that if you do want to uninstall it, it really is as easy as just pressing 2 in that choice. And you see the nice green light writing. It says Smappy is installed. And the final step to make sure all of this is going to work with your system is to highlight this line here. You want to highlight it with your mouse. You know, you press the left button. You know, the, the one that you typically click on. You know, there's left and right buttons. You click and you drag it across. And very, very important, you hit Control and C. Do not use your mouse to copy. Hit Control and see after you've completely highlighted that line without any extra space. Any extra space will throw it off. You open Steam like we did a minute ago. You right click and go to Properties. And under Properties, you'll see this Launch Options block. You're going to put your mouse on it. You're going to press Control and X. And now it pasted that thing that we copied from the other screen and you close. So now when you open Stardew Valley, even when you don't have any of those fancy mods installed, it will open this little window here and this is Smappy. That's that Smappy at work. You see it even says so up at the top. With no mods, it launches right into Stardew Valley. But we're going to show you what the screen looks. See, this shows you that you got Smappy 4.06. It's running Stardew Valley 1.6.3. That is the current build. You know, if you want to get a newer build, if it comes out, you just download it from Steam. It shows that it's loaded two mods, Console Command and Save Backup. And, you know, of course, you didn't see me installing any mods, but that's because these mods are sort of there by default. Again, if you go in and look at the local files, right-click, Manage, Browse local files and then click on the mods folder. You'll see that those mods are in there. Console commands and save backup. And this is always going to be part of your mod setup. If you don't have those files, the game will not work. So do not delete them. But that's it. Like the thing about Smappy is that it's actually in pretty plain English. You can read it. It says exactly what it's doing and how. And from there, you know. You can launch Stardew, play it, do whatever. But of course, if you're downloading this, what you really want to do is add more mods. And we'll have other videos that show you how to add mods once you've got it all set up. I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, please hit subscribe, of course, 
How can you make a video without asking people to subscribe? Like this channel for more content. As always, I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.